Do you know what I just realized last night? I realized that this lamp has lasted longer than most of my friendships. Okay, today we are looking at the worst best handwriting i have seen this handwriting went viral on youtube some subscribers i think like sent it to me or something it's <sighs> gives me chills okay let's look at it all right cute nice pens yeah no oh my god oh my god no please I'm gonna cry. Okay, let's, okay. Excessively round, excessively perfect, excessively uniform everything. Every single letter is uniform to the other. All the spaces are uniform. So handwriting can kind of be on a spectrum of, is the writer more concerned about form and what it looks like, or a writer can be more concerned about speed. And a lot of us fall kind of in the middle. If you're more concerned about form, it means you're more concerned about, okay, how am I coming across? I wanna be understood and I wanna be understood the way I intend to. Um, if you're more on the spectrum of speed, I care more about speed than form and you're more concerned about like, okay, like we getting stuff done. Don't really care what you think about me, but I do care about the hustle and the grind and the money. No, in general, these people are a bit like more forward th with their emotions. And like, if, if you know, if you don't like me, like, mm. and there are different extremes. The extreme of your handwriting is so fast that it becomes illegible. It's like, you're impatient with others. You are impatient with yourself. You are unhappy and you you just don't give a shit anymore about how you are coming across. In general, when you have a lot of variation in your handwriting or a little bit of variation in your handwriting, it indicates like, you know, how emotional you are. So it's like when people tell me, they're like, oh, my handwriting is so different all the time. It's like, don't worry, you are not crazy, you're human. If it's super, super like all over the place varying, it means you are really emotionally unpredictable. People probably have a hard time being around you because of that. And then the other thing that's super uncommon, that's kind of like the other side of the spectrum is, yeah, someone who has such perfectly uniform handwriting that has no variations at all. You're really trying to like be Miss Perfect that you are just like not gonna let those emotions come out. That's really hard to do. You kind of notice a little bit in her handwriting, you notice the line quality is like a little bit shaky. It's very subtle and it's hard to see, but there is just a little bit of a wobble. And that's not because of any tremor, that's not because of any, you know, anything wrong with the pen. Someone in the comments could be like, oh, it's probably just like how the pen works. No, like there is like a little bit of wobble to her handwriting and you cannot deny it. There's a, just a little bit of wobble and that happens from being so hyper tense and so concerned about being perfect that like all your muscles tense up because you're trying to make something perfect and, and then ultimately at some point you are gonna snap, you are gonna lash out because that's just not sustainable. Okay, let's keep writing. Hmm. Yeah, she's absolutely right. Your energy level does change. Like your energy and level of fatigue will change your handwriting. She says, yeah, it changes based on who's gonna read it. That's definitely true. Yeah, so absolutely, your handwriting does change a lot based on who's gonna write it. You're gonna write differently to your best friend than you are going to write to a lawyer. Everything has context and that's why when you're analyzing someone's handwriting, it's good to look at a variety of samples so that you can see like, okay, what was situation specific? What was emotionally specific? Otherwise, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, such a relief. Oh my God. Okay, we're good, we're good. She's gonna be okay, you guys. She is gonna be okay. <laughs> I was worried for you, girl, for a second. I was like, girly, I'm gonna come to your house and I'm gonna give you a therapy session. <laughs> yeah, this is a much healthier handwriting. The other thing that I'm seeing is it's, her handwriting consistently floats above the baseline. This is the line of reality. Usually people that float above it are either A, really imaginative, B, really disconnected, from their reality. She's kind of making a different category for herself within that. She kind of places her handwriting like kind of perfectly in between both lines, uh, which I have heard of before. I'm gonna call that 
an exception. I th like, I think it's possible that she's a bit detached from her reality, but I, I'm not gonna like push that hypothesis because I don't see anything else in the handwriting that would support that. So that's why I'm like, I'm not gonna argue that she's detached from her handwriting. And honestly, I don't see anything in her handwriting that indicates being like super imaginative. That sounds mean, but I, I just don't. I don't see a super high eye dot. I don't see this, I don't see that, but I'm gonna account it for another indicator of her perfectionism of like placing it like perfectly in between the lines. She is very creative though. Yeah, excessive roundness too. There's a, a lot of excessive roundness in this handwriting. Roundness indicates being friendly and compatible and angles indicate aggression, curves indicate friendliness, compatibility. This is overly curvy handwriting, which can be an indicator of immaturity, but can also be an indicator of people pleasing. Uh, and also the chunky middle zone, right? The middle third of her handwriting compared to the top and the bottom is also very dominant. So it means she really cares about being compatible and being communicative and getting along with others and being a team player. So when you notice like that quality of like the chunky middle zone with wanting to be a team player with the excessive roundness, which indicates really wanting to be friendly. This is also an indicator of people that struggle with being assertive and asserting themselves. So I'd say that there's a lot of that going on as well. I bet she struggles a lot with asserting herself. I feel like she struggles a lot with being accepting of her own mistakes, but I think she is probably so friendly to be around. Her handwriting also completely changes on a dime. Like, yes, you do write differently for different reasons, but this is such a drastic difference. That is very extreme. So I'm wondering if, if she can like really code switch and suddenly just like, you know, be a completely different person depending on what is needed out of the situation or what is needed out of the social interaction. Look at the other thing that she talks about because she had another video that, oh yeah, is how to write neatly. Also, this is this video is not me hating on her. This is me genuinely reacting. I hope no one interprets me looking at her handwriting as like hating on her, but you know, she put her handwriting out there. So I'm gonna say something about it. I am the handwriting girl. interesting. I don't know, it's after learning so much about handwriting, now it just like, it gives me a completely different perspective on how, you know, how teachers will just like tell students like, hey, have neater handwriting. And now like having the perspective that I do, that kind of offends me. <laughs> Now that I understand that handwriting is so personal and so connected with what is going on up here, that to me, it feels so insensitive to tell someone, hey, make your handwriting different, which is something I would never expect myself to be like offended by out of all the things that could offend me. Handwriting is so personal and it is so connected to someone's traumas and is so connected to someone's bodies. It is so connected to someone's physical state, mental state, spiritual state. It is so connected to a person's personality that to me, it just feels so disrespectful to ask a student, hey, make your handwriting better. I do think that if you are working with students that have some pretty illegible handwriting, I think it's a great idea to encourage them to make their handwriting more legible, but being sassy about like, oh, your handwriting sucks. I know I'm saying this after like reacting to her handwriting and being like, whoa, I'm a hypocrite. Anyways, I think, uh, I think that's how I'm gonna end the video.